I recently started the process of monetizing this YouTube channel and I became quite interested in the way that Google chooses to show different ads to different people. And uh, just for fun, I thought I would go into my own Google ad settings and see what Google thinks it knows about me. When you go into your Google account and, and track down your Google ad settings, you'll probably see this item, ad personalization. And this is something that you can turn on or off in Google. If it is on, and it's on for me, then Google takes all the information about you based on all of your internet activity and all your web surfing, and then uses that information to try to give you ads that you are interested in. I have it on because I'm act I don't mind advertisements myself and I would prefer it if Google showed me ads for products that I actually like and that I might end up buying in my own life. The weird thing is that on YouTube I rarely get any advertisements that are of any interest to me. So I thought I would look into this mystery and see what Google thinks it knows about me. So what you can do if you go to your ad personalization page and you start scrolling down, you see a very long list of items. These are all things that Google knows or thinks it knows about me. And I want to go through this list and see how accurate they are and where, where Google is going wrong. Why am I getting advertisements for uh, feminine health products as opposed to cameras and bicycles and tents, all the things that I'm actually interested in? So let's see. Google thinks I'm 55 to 64 years old. That is true. Thinks I'm male, so they got that right. And they say that I speak English and two more languages. My guess is that those languages are French and Spanish. And this is my first time even being on this page, so I don't know much about it. Let's click on this item and see whether I can see any information. So let's click on this. Okay, language, and it says English, French, and Spanish. And that makes sense. I'm from Canada, and Canada has two national languages, English and French and I studied French all through grade school and high school. And then when I went on to university, I switched to Spanish and I went to Guatemala a couple of times and I studied Spanish intensively there. So they got that right. So let's close that. Moving along, Google thinks I'm interested in accounting and financial software, and I am not. Don't know where that could have come from action and adventure films. That's kind of a no-brainer. I watch a lot of movies and I imagine every single genre of movie will be on this list because I watch action movies, I watch dramas, I watch romances, I watch comedies, I watch animated films, foreign films, independent films, every kind of film you can imagine. So this is kind of a, that's kind of a no-brainer. Advertising and marketing, I can see that. Air conditioners, I don't know why that would be on my list. I have had air conditioning adventures in my life, but nothing so extreme that I would be interested in air conditioning ads. But anyway, Android apps, sure. Android OS, okay. Apple iOS, no. That's wrong because I don't have an Apple product. I have no, I've never had an iPhone. I've never had an Apple computer. Um, decades ago, I had Apple iPods to listen to music, but that was so long ago. So this one really doesn't apply to me. Audio and music software, of course, and audio equipment. Next page. Autos and vehicles. Uh, vaguely, I have not owned a car for decades, so I don't have a particular interest in cars. Beaches and islands, absolutely. I'm all about beaches and islands, though of course I haven't been to one for a very long time. 
Blues as a category of music? No. I have very little interest in blues. I don't listen to blues. I don't listen to jazz. As a music genre, this really doesn't uh, apply to me. Body-mounted and action cameras? Of course. I'm all about the GoPro life, so that makes sense. Bollywood and South Asian film? Oh, absolutely. I love Bollywood films. They are kind of a a big secret, I think. A lot of Bollywood films are really quite interesting, and South Asian films in general. And I think North American audiences have a blind spot where Bollywood is concerned. There are some very interesting uh, movies coming out of India, so I track them down when I can. Books and literature? I don't read as much these days as I used to. I have been a big reader in my life, just not lately, but it makes sense that Google thinks I'm interested in this. Broadcast and network news? Seems like a no-brainer. Business and industrial? Not so much. I'm not a businessman. I'm not into money. I'm not into that kind of thing. Business services? No, not at all. I do not have a business, never owned a business, know nothing about business. California? I don't know why Google thinks I'm more interested in California than other states, so I don't know why that's on the list. Camcorders? Yeah, anything to do with cameras, photo equipment. That's kind of a no-brainer as well. So Google got that right. Car rentals, right at the top. Makes no sense at all, because the last time I rented a car was probably 35 years ago. I never rent cars. I never look into renting cars. So I don't know why that is there. Celebrities and entertainment news, sure. Everybody's interested in that to a certain extent. Cincinnati, no idea why. Never been to Cincinnati. I know very little about the city, so I don't know why Google thinks I have an interest in that place. Classical music, yes, I love classical music. Coffee and tea, of course, another no-brainer. I'm a big fan of coffee and coffee shops. Combat sports, and this is an interesting one because I do have a strong interest in MMA and uh, the UFC One Championship here in Asia. Uh, Bellator, another uh, fighting league in the United States. It's the only sport I follow, uh, to be honest. But I am curious, does it break it down? It says I'm interested in combat sports, but I'm only interested in MMA. I'm not interested in boxing, for example. Let's see what they say. Google estimates this interest based on your activity on Google services, but no other information than that. So it's a very vague kind of a category. <clears throat> Comedy films, of course. Comics and animation. I'm not so interested in comics, but if you combine it with animation, yes, that makes sense. Small company size. Competitive video gaming, computer and video games. This makes no sense at all because I have zero, interested, zero interest in video games of any kind. I don't play them. I've never played them. I've never had a PS4 or PlayStation or all those consoles for playing video games or computer games. I never do any of these things. So I don't know why Google thinks I'm interested in them. And computer hardware. Yeah, why not? I'm always doing research into laptops and the bits of hardware that go into uh, computers. Top of the page, computers and electronics. Construction and maintenance. Hmm. I used to work in construction when I was going to university. I got summer jobs building houses, you know, framing houses. I wasn't very good at it, but occasionally people would pay me to uh, pretend I knew what I was doing when I swung a hammer. Consumer electronics, sure. Cooking and recipes, definitely not. I rarely cook, and if I did, I mean, again, in a previous lifetime, I remember even having a recipe book, and I would cook according to recipes, but that was a previous lifetime, a long time ago. I don't cook these days, and I have no interest in recipes. Coupons, nope. Never use coupons. 
I never get discounts on anything. I always end up paying full price for everything in this world. So uh, maybe I'm interested in a discount, but I never get them. Credit cards, oh boy. I suppose that's an interest of mine, but only from the nightmare perspective because I constantly have trouble with credit cards. Currencies and foreign exchange. I suppose I'm interested in currencies because um, I'd like to have more of it if I could. Everybody wouldn't mind having more foreign exchange. But um, yeah, I guess that does make sense because I am always looking up the exchange rate for different currencies around the world even if I don't have very much of those uh, currencies. Customer services, it's pretty vague. Cycling, of course, I'm interested in, even though I haven't done any real bike touring for a long time, but I'm sure that shows up in my Google search history. Dance and electronic music, desktop computers, device drivers, that's interesting, because I do remember doing a lot of research on drivers because your laptop is constantly doing something weird or something's not working, then they always tell you to make sure your drivers are up to date, install the newest drivers, do something with a driver. And so I think I was always doing Google searches for uh, drivers. Dictionaries and encyclopedias. I'll take that one because that means Google thinks I'm smart, right? Encyclopedias. Distributed and cloud computing, yeah, anything computer related. Dogs, love dogs. On YouTube, I'm, I'm a real sucker for all those dog rescue stories from the dodo and from other places. I mean, there's people all around the world have YouTube channels documenting their adventures as they rescue, you know, starving street dogs. And I, I always end up watching those. I, I can't help it. Drama films. Education status, bachelor's degree, and that is true. I have a bachelor's degree, and I thought in a previous years of going on to do a master's, I don't think I would ever do a doctorate, but I often thought that a master's degree can be helpful in terms of employment, especially if you are an English teacher, because in order to get a good job at a university level, you have to have a master's degree. Even if you're the best English teacher in the universe, they, a university can't hire you if you only have a bachelor's degree. So I've often thought it could have been useful in my life to have a master's, but I just never got around to doing it. Electronic accessories, no-brainer. Events and listings, that's pretty vague. Family, I mean, I don't have my own family, but it would be pretty bizarre for anyone not to have family on their list of interests. Everybody comes from a family. Fitness, that's an interesting one. I don't have a strong interest in fitness, but I recently began a kind of fitness regimen, um, starting it fairly intensely back in January of this year, January of uh, 2021. So maybe I did a bit of research into some fitness stuff, I'm not sure. Flowers, I have no particular interest in flowers. If I'm out wandering around with my camera and I see a beautiful flower, I might take a picture or take some video. And, uh, but nothing, no particular interest in flowers. Food and drink, that makes a lot of sense. Personally, I'm not a foodie, but since I started shooting more and more YouTube videos, you know, you naturally end up uh, documenting some food adventures when you're overseas. Green living and environmental issues. Yeah, I can see how that makes sense. I'm not an active environmentalist. I'm not members of any groups or societies currently trying to save the world. But of course, these days, everyone is reading about climate change. And, and to be honest, right now, I'm in the middle of watching the newest series, uh, The Planet series. Um, what's this one called? I can't remember. But, um, you know, those incredible documentaries uh, showcasing the environment and, and animals from all around the world. So I'm always, I watch all of those if I can. Next page. 
Greeting cards. No, I have no interest in greeting cards. I never send them. I don't see much point to them. And of course, these days, everything is electronic anyway. Home automation, home improvement, home theaters, home ownership. They got all this wrong. I do not own a home. It says I, I'm a homeowner, which I am not. I've never owned a home and I have no interest in ever owning one. I think if you want to uh, own your own home, you have to start a lot earlier in your life. It's way too late for me to think about that. So uh, yeah, they got that absolutely wrong. I have no interest in home theaters, home improvement or home automation. Horror films, I love a good horror film. Hospitality industry, of course, I'm all about that. Hotels, spend a lot of time in hotels. Ah, look at this. Google thinks I'm rich. Household income, high. Certainly in Canadian terms, my income is extremely low and always has been low to non-existent. So I'm not quite sure where Google would come up with that number. Perhaps I'm always researching things I can't afford. If I want to buy a camera, I might do research into the latest full frame offering from Sony that costs $5,000 or $6,000. But of course, I end up buying a camera for $300. But maybe according to my research, Google thinks I'm spending money like crazy. How to DIY. Expert content, yeah, I think that's kind of me. Indie and alternative music, that makes sense. Though these days I just don't listen to music very often. It's just, I don't have a time in my day-to-day -day life where listening to music makes sense. If I have downtime, I'm always listening to a podcast. Podcasts have kind of replaced music for me as an audio entertainment. So yeah, I never listen to music anymore, though... Um, I wouldn't mind listening to more. Investing, again, absolutely wrong. I don't have any money to invest. I wouldn't know how to invest, and I'm not aware of doing any research into investing, but Google thinks that's one of my interests. Next page, job industry, technology industry, hmm, sure, job listings. Perhaps. Laptops and notebooks, of course, I have a strong interest in those. Las Vegas. Hmm. No special interest in Las Vegas, so I don't know why that would be on my list. Live video streaming. I've never done a live stream of any kind, though, and I don't even watch them, to be honest. But perhaps I've looked up information about doing them. Marital status. Check that out. Married. And uh, that is absolutely wrong. I'm not married, and in fact, I've never been married. Let's see if Google has any background information for me. Perhaps I'm married and I just don't even know about it. Ah, and look at that. Google estimates this demographic because your signed-in activity on Google services is similar to people who've told Google they're in this category. <laughs> so... Even though I'm not married, I act like someone who is. That's fascinating. Marketing, I'm interested in that. Mass merchants and department stores, it's pretty vague. Metal, well, again, I don't have a strong interest in metal. I think I'd listen to more metal than I would uh, jazz or blues, perhaps, but certainly metal is not a favorite of mine. MLM, is that oh, multi-level marketing and business opportunities? I'm definitely not interested in that for myself, though I have done a lot of research into MLM just because I find the stories fascinating. These people that start these MLM businesses and they're all scam artists and they rip off so many people. I find those stories interesting, but not because I want to uh, get involved. Mobile and wireless, of course, I'm very interested in uh, smartphones mobile and wireless accessories. Again, a no-brainer there, though I never get any ads for mobile accessories. <laughs> mobile apps and add-ons, sure. Mobile phone repair, definitely. Mobile phones. Motorcycles, yeah, I mean, I, I ride scooters quite a bit in my lifetime, though I've n not had a motorcycle. 
movie and TV streamings, movie reviews and previews, movies, anything to do with movies makes sense for me. MP3 and portable media players. I used to always have uh, an Apple iPod, though of course these days no one uses them anymore. So this is kind of an outdated category. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. Music and audio, news, online video, outdoors, those all make some sense. Parental status up at the top, not a parent. Let's see if they're estimating that or do they know for sure. Google estimates this because of my uh, research activity and I certainly do not ever research products for children, you know, children's toys or clothing or child care because I do not have children. So that makes sense. Parenting it says I'm, even though I do not have children, it says that I'm interested in parenting, which I really am not. Are they estimating again? Yes, this is another estimate. Maybe all of them are estimates. Performing arts, I'm very interested in attending performing arts uh, um, events, though I don't take part. Pet food and pet care, that makes sense. Pets, phone service providers, photographic and digital arts. Again, anything to do with photography, telephones, that would all make sense. Pickup trucks, no. I have no interest in pickup trucks at all, so I don't know why that would be listed as an interest of mine. Politics, I guess I'm interested in politics only as a source of entertainment, the uh, circus of politics. Power supplies, again, anything to do with technology. Price comparisons, sure. Printing and publishing, yes. I've had a career in editing and writing for publications. So that category makes some sense. Product reviews and price comparisons, that makes sense. I seem to spend half my life looking up reviews on YouTube of various uh, cameras and other products. Proxying and filtering, I don't know what that is. Do they explain? No, it just says that this is an estimate, but I don't know what that is. Restaurant delivery services, hmm. I never have anything ever delivered by a restaurant, so I don't know why that would be in my list. Restaurants, who would not have all that on their list? Rock music, now we're talking. I'm very interested in rock music as opposed to metal, though I guess it depends how you define metal. I mean, I love classic rock. Led Zeppelin, for example, one of my favorite all-time bands. Is Led Zeppelin considered metal? I don't consider it metal, but maybe Google does. Romance films, sure. Sandbox games, again, absolutely not. I, have n I don't even know what that is. What is a sandbox game? I don't know what that is. I have no idea why Google thinks I'm interested in, that, in them. Science fiction and fantasy films, absolutely. I'm addicted to a science fiction. Search engine optimization and marketing, of course. Search engines, service providers, shopping. Again, who does not have shopping on their list? That would be a surprise if you didn't. Smartphones, smartwatches. That's a new one for me, of course, because I just recently um, had a Galaxy watch enter my life, a, a gift from a viewer of my videos, and I'm learning all about smartwatches now. I wonder if this is a new category. Did it just pop up? Or has it always been there? Social networks, I guess that's Facebook, who is not interested in that to a certain extent. Sports. <laughs> it's kind of weird to see that there because, to be honest, I'm not a sports guy. I'm not interested in professional sports, certainly. I don't watch any uh, professional leagues. Tablet PCs, of course. Tax preparation and planning. Mm, not sure where they would get that idea. I don't do a whole lot of anything to do with uh, tax preparation. Technical reference, sure. Technical support, absolutely. Thailand, look at that. And that, of course, makes sense because there has been a lot in my search history of late 
to do with Thailand. But that begs the question why other countries are not here. When I lived in Taiwan, of course I was constantly doing Google searches about Taiwan. Um, hmm. So I guess there is a timing thing here. Thailand is listed because it's the most recent, but my trips to Myanmar were not that long ago and I, I did a huge amount of research into Myanmar online. So why is Thailand listed and not Myanmar? That's interesting. Travel and transportation, that's a no-brainer. TV and video, TV comedies, of course. TV family-oriented shows, TV sci-fi and fantasy. USA as a category, that would often come up, of course. The USA is uh, often dominating my news feed in any event. Vehicle shopping, not so much. I don't shop for vehicles. I'm not in the market for any. Video sharing, visual art and design, web apps and online tools, web design, web hosting, web stats, world music. I guess that makes sense because I do listen to um, uh, quite a variety of music from different countries when I do listen to music. And that takes me uh, to the end of the list. Hmm, very interesting. I can't say that this list gives me a lot of confidence that Google really knows me. Even some of the key points, the fact it says that I'm married um, when I'm not, and it's just sort of guesstimating that I'm married. <laughs> I guess I have the psychology of a married man, even though I'm single. So that's interesting. But I, a lot of these categories are so vague and so general. There's certainly a heavy focus on technology in my list, and that makes sense because I do focus on technology a lot. And uh, we don't see things like food come up very often other than restaurant delivery services, which is odd because I never have anything delivered. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I would give Google for that portrait of me, to be honest, I would give them at best a C grade, maybe even a failing grade, because I, I feel like that list did not really capture who I am. Hmm. All right. So that was my little uh, Google exercise for today. Um, yeah. If anyone wants to check this out, I'd love to hear from you. If you go into your Google settings and look at your ad personalization, you know, scan through this list. Let me know if you think Google knows who you are. And do you get ads that actually suit your interests? Because I never do. Um, I never get an ad on YouTube that has anything to do with anything I'm interested in. So even these items in here that are accurate, they don't get reflected in the advertisements that I end up seeing. So let me know. Does Google know you? Google does not appear to know me at all.